for skin bleaching is estimated at $8 billion and it's expected to increase to more than half of that in the next six years. Skin bleaching is big business. This is business. Okay, now that video we just watched had some trickery going on. First of all, I think there was a whole different person in there. You know, and that whole different person had already been bleached and they had some sort of like black scrub on them that was being rinsed off. But coming across that video triggered me to go down deep into a skin bleaching rabbit hole. And I got a lot of questions. And then we also got a doctor, you know, coming on this video. To answer some of these questions too. Some of the time you find some part um, a different, different color because why like, you know, you like your knuckles. Mm, let me see your knuckles. They they claim the knuckles Knuckle will stay dark. Hard, hard to get brown, but after a while you can get it out. Well, you don't know bleaching change of a color. Sometimes it make you red. Sometimes it make you pink. It make you brown. It make you black. Sometimes the all people are bleach brown and get black, 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 black. Because if you look at a real white person, that person might look pink, and that pink that he has is like a stage in my bleaching. So that's a stage before I get to super white. So when I continue after that, I get super white and it's even whiter than a white purse. It's like chalky white. Some people black and ugly, some girls black and ugly, you know. You know what I'm saying? So you see when them put on bleaching, them kind of look good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you have some girls out of the road, they too ugly. Then complexion black. Like a tar. And that is something we can't tell you the secret behind it because we are white men come down here look the pretty black girl them and the black men them love white skin women. We don't know what's wrong with them, you know. I'm fair complexion, I'm but fair. I'm right now. The bleaching is up like seven. Mm -hmm. up, up, up. Bleaching is very nice. I like to do it. When I do it, I look more younger because I'm an older woman. So when I do bleaching, I look more fresh and pretty. There's just so much to unpack here. Now, I'm gonna get through the major things that just stuck out to me first, though. So first, there's the seemingly unpredictable color that you can wind up with after skin bleaching. You know, I'm not sure I've ever seen anyone who bleaches their skin where their skin actually looks like, you know, they could have been born that way where the skin looks natural. Then there are the areas that take longer to lighten, like the knuckles, the elbows, the knees. So like, what do people who are in between phases do? What my knuckles used to look like and what I got like dragged for here on YouTube. But after consistent use of this which shocked me because it's actually super affordable it's called the extra strong peeling oil put the oil on and after you put the oil on you're going to wait about 15 minutes and then you're going to rinse okay um it's very very strong so you don't want to like, keep it on your skin it's not like a oil that you just keep on your skin you gotta rinse it off uh you can use it uh up to three times a day so if you really have really really bad dark knuckles or really really bad hyperpigmentation in an area of your skin uh you can use it up to three times a day okay and then wash it off after 15 minutes and that's exactly what i've been doing with these knuckles still doing it but you can definitely see how much they have cleared like it's crazy this will make your skin peel and what i did to make the results even faster is i used this whitening cream on top of it Okay, so I'll, I'll put the oil on it and then I'll put the whitening cream on it, okay? And that's what has worked. Now, while I was in this rabbit hole, I did come across quite a number of YouTube channels like that one that are dedicated to helping you on your skin bleaching journey. And while I myself would not bleach my skin, I guess maybe there's a good thing that there is a community out there and people who kind of review these products and kind of steer you in the direction of which ones are better for you or not? I don't know. What y'all think about that? And while y'all thinking about that, we need to circle back on this. Some people black and ugly, some girls black and ugly, you know. Wow, but dude, did you? Tell them, first time I try to get white, I use that alloderm thing there, put it on my face. I'm here to tell you, say, give me a reaction. Make my face 
come like them saw us up fish there in a, in a water. <laughs> you know, specker specker. <laughs> if you ever know them fish, they're specker specker. You know what I'm saying? Black and thing, it look how we are white. <laughs> Y'all, I hope y'all ain't out here bleaching your skin for men like this. I really hope not, but I guess at least he's been through the process himself so he knows of what he speaks. And speaking of men who've been through the process, it is so bad, I want to give you a zero, but that's not possible. So I give you a one. Also, can you see the lipstick on my Invisalign? Like, <laughs> my bad, y'all. <laughs> this next one had me in tears. So brace yourselves, y'all. Hey, and bleach my skin. Story time. Since I dropped this video, so much people have been asking me to do a story time about when my aunt gave me bleaching cream and I bleached my skin. And this is my second time doing the story time, so listen. Okay, bam. So, when I was 12, I developed cystic acne. If you don't know what cystic acne is, pretty much it's a hormonal imbalance what causes painful cyst-like acne. I developed that when I was 12. My parents brought me to different dermatologists and nobody could help. It was like really bad. My face was looking like a pizza. So I have this one auntie who was heavy into bleaching, heavy. She have all of the products, right? She saw me and she was like, come here, come here. I'm like, yes, auntie, what? She was like, rub this upon your face. Rub it upon your face every night. And I was like, girl, like, what is this? And she was like, it's bleaching cream. My little middle school ass did not really know what bleaching cream was. I mean, I knew what it was, but I didn't really know what it was. But I was desperate to get rid of my acne, so I was like, okay auntie and my parents they were down with the shits because they spent a lot of money and they were trying to just help their child to be happy so we're like let's give it a try let's see what happens and my aunt she didn't give me any instructions also and i found out later too that she gave me a strong product and i forgot the name of the bleaching cream and even if i did remember i want to tell y'all because i don't want to promote that so I started rubbing the bleaching cream on my face and it started to work. And also here's the thing, it was summertime when she gave it to me. So I was in the house, I wasn't really going outside. So I guess it penetrated my skin a little bit harder and bam, I was, I was light. <laughs> I did not even realize that my skin was getting lighter. I really did not even realize until I had this Haitian neighbor and I grew up in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So it's like little West Indies. Everybody's Haitian, Jamaican, all that, right? So I had this Haitian neighbor named Manushka and Manushka saw me and she was like, Fort Jay-Z, what happened to your skin? And I was like, bitch, what, what you mean? Your skin, your skin is light and your neck is black. Y'all know how Caribbean people are. <laughs> and then when I went to school, the kids, they were like, are you sick? I think you're sick. I heard a rumor going around that you're sick. And even adults would come up to me, strangers on the streets would come up to me and ask me, what's wrong with you? Are you sick? And that's when I was like, I don't want to do this anymore because it's not helping my acne, it's making it worse. But the crazy thing about this was my aunt was the only person telling me how good I look. She was like, look how your bra not nice and your skin cool. Rub it upon your neck, I rub it upon your body. Look how the boy look nice and clean. And now that I'm older, I'm like, she was trying to bleach me out. She wasn't trying to help with my acne. She was trying to bleach me out. Nobody in their right mind would say that this looks normal. Okay, nobody. <laughs> Auntie did nephew wrong. Oh my god. And she telling him, rub this on your face every night. Jesus. Talk about it. Look how you're brown and nice and your skin cool. I'm glad his Haitian neighbor kept it real with him though, cause yo. Mm -mm. I mean, we might as well hear from some more. If I was to record the lower half of my body without showing my face, you would think it's a different person. I mainly focused on what people could see. I would strip layers of my skin, strip the skin on my hands. I would vigorously scrub my chest and stomach area. I wouldn't really focus on my back and I wouldn't focus on my inner and outer thighs. And I can see the areas I didn't focus on so much darkening. It almost looks like a different person's body. Michael Jackson sound from Katie. Do y'all follow Katie on Instagram? Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> nah, but all jokes aside. Unfortunately, there will not be a part two of this video because you should stay how you are. Okay, nah, for real, for real, for real. Let's get serious here. I attempted to bleach my skin in 2020. This was after someone saw my pictures and said that I was too dark and I just wanted to glow by all means. So a family friend who was into organic products gifted me a whitening set and I started using them. After a few days, my skin was doing like all the spots on my face as cleared. And in my mind, I was glowing and I continued using the product. After that set finished, I got another one. And this time, she gave me the snow white set and I started using it. After a few weeks, I could no longer recognize my skin. I had a lot of dark patches and on even skin tone and i decided to focus on the dark parts and i started applying the product only on the dark part but it started getting worse and my skin became so thin that you could even see my green veins people were still complimenting me that i was glowing but the only person that told me the truth was my other sister so i stopped using the product and started applying moisturizers it took a long time for my skin to heal i started having a lot of acne breakout due to the products this is why i hate skin bleaching the disadvantage is far outweighs the benefits. So if you are still bleaching your skin today, please stop. Like, what are the side effects of bleaching? I feel like people know, but they don't care. And skin bleaching is not going anywhere. So is there a healthy way of doing this? And what does a dermatologist think about all of this? There really is not a healthy way to do this. All of the ways that we know that lighten your skin in a systemic sort of manner are not regulated. They have not been studied with clinical trials. They're used overseas a lot more than they are in the United States, although they're creeping into the United States as well in unregulated med spas by non-dermatologists. I want to make sure I put that out there. It's not the dermatology community that's promoting this and offering this as a service. And then you have reports, you know, there are no clinical trials, which if there are no clinical trials, that means that we really don't know how effectively they work. And we also don't know all the established adverse side effects that can occur as a result. So some of the things that have been reported, you know, there's skin rashes that can come up. So, you know, people that come into the office sometimes will discover that they're doing this because these rashes are unexplained and we go down the rabbit hole and figure that out. Thyroid issues start to be a problem, which, you know, regulates your metabolism and can affect almost every other system in your body. And then renal failure, you know, these things have this glutathione has to be metabolized in a way it's either going to be your liver or your kidney that suffers and for this it's toxic to the kidney and can cause long-term kidney damage that can lead to kidney failure so you could end up needing dialysis because your kidneys are failing thank you so much to friends of the channel board certified dermatologist dr Corey l hartman he's been on the channel a couple times so make sure you check out his previous videos he's based in alabama so if you're looking for a dermatologist in alabama i will leave all his information link below and if you're looking for the perfect blend of shade and education in your skincare social media you need to follow him on instagram i'll leave the link in the description now quite often we come down hard on the people who bleach their skin however we don't fully address the systems racism colorism that cause them to do what they do like a skin bleaching a moral wrong i sell skin bleaching cream pretty controversial i know but I do have negative comments, people saying you hate yourself, you wish you're white, but I don't really like listen to it. I don't really, I really don't care. I guess how society sees dark women, like we're basically the, the losing team. Like who wants to be on the losing team? Now, while I personally don't think that one should lighten their skin, sis does have a point there. And remember this point. When Jamaica was owned by the British, there were offspring of white people who were light complexioned. And they were the ones getting the jobs. They were the teachers, the nurses. Certainly you could not work in a bank if you were not light complexion. Racism and colorism have real damaging effects, not only on one's skin health, one's mental health, but also one's socioeconomic status. There have been several studies that have linked skin tone to income levels, with the overall findings being that darker skin is negatively related to income. Thankfully though, some of us are fighting back on these narratives. Most 
most of us are seeing the beauty in our darker skin tones and that is an amazing thing but it's gonna take more a lot more than dark skin people loving ourselves to end colorism now if you are into these type of reaction videos especially those that say f your beauty standards you're in luck because i just did one not too long ago on reacting to body hair activists and it caused a lot of commotion in the comments so check that out or check out this video to see if you can really clear your skin of dark spots fast like in a week and if y'all see some crazy skincare videos around the internet please dm me on instagram with the links i'll see you guys next time